Hey, it's Valuable Tips here. Welcome to my channel. Please like, share, and subscribe as I'll be posting new videos every now and then to bring valuable tips to your life. Only you can show support. No, my lord. Okay, so I'll be giving you some tips about cyber dragons. I started with Horus because he didn't play anything on empty, but Horus is better than using cyber dragon engine. Use Asher against Cyber Dragon. This is a very fatal mistake. You should save it for machine duplication. Go to Chaos Angel here because it has higher stat and more abilities. And it's a light and dark used as material for it, so it has two abilities. So next, this game I lost. Let's see what he's playing. Snake eyes with a bad static hand. In this matchup, right, ideally you draw into top one night, but it doesn't happen always. I have a brick in my hand. Technically at two bricks, only one playable card. In this matchup, ideally you want to banish the Fire King Island at a very right timing where he use his all his summoning abilities already. I made us a misplay here by using my banish early on. The Fire King Island. I should have waited.
Yeah, I should have waited for with the Chaos Angel. And don't bench it so early. And I maybe should use duality to dodge the SP Little Knight effect on Mega Fleet. That's a consideration. Now he gets a very big Raging Phoenix, which I cannot force through. This is a very big issue for my deck. And now he gets the secondary effect here where he can XYZ summon the Runix and destroy my whole board. There wasn't much I can do to play around this Corbine. I should really have waited for the Chaos Angel to banish the few spell. That was a slight misplay. And from here I'm gonna lose the game because of that. This was the best play I could have made. To link summon into something with the two monster I had. You can play Super Ball in this deck, but the thing is, you don't have a lot of slot in your Asha deck to complete the fusion of Super Ball. This replay is not so interesting. There's only two turn. This one's same. I lost in one turn. Let's see what this is about. If I remember correctly, this is uh, a Blood Gate deck. And I didn't draw the hand I want. Yeah. This makes my whole deck unplayable. Totally unplayable. Okay, this makes the king totally unplayable.
next three are rather interesting games. Where yeah, there's a lot of back and forth. Any that will link monster loses quite hard to cyber dragons. Golden forgot that I do not have the second Cyber Dragon in my graveyard to use Overload Fusion. Totally forgot about that. Luckily, he links summon with his 6002 monster. I will just hit him first. By sending away to my brother, I play around him having a strong monster to attack through it. This gets rid of his hand trap. I just need to we under four summon now. One, two, there's still summon, so I can take two more summon. The reason why I play one fusion deployment because that makes me makes my deck have four cyber dragon the original in total. This is a very good bait against Ash. This is a very good bait for Ash Blossom, Cyber Dragon Core. Secret Pagan is a very good bait to get 
a destruction of from your enemy. Uh, maybe I should have F Blossom here. But the reason why I didn't do it because he's under max C. Even if he summons more monster, it will be just free material for my Cloud One Knight. Not actually rebellion, by the way. Unless you're very sure he's not playing a branded deck. That's branded fusion, and the game is almost over. You might ask why did I use Glory of Horus first instead of using Call to Beta F. That is because I have two Tripathetic Trust. I want him to Ash me so I can use my Trust. Although it's not such a good idea on a second thought. I summon two because I want to play around in Beryl. As long as you can make the light and darkness material for chaos angel, usually against Panda, they don't have a lot of traps and spells to counter your chaos angel. Use trust for machine duplication usually. This
Now we have come to the end of this video. What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you for watching.